Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Lions franchise on Madden 20. And let's just recap the first half of season four here, as we are now six and two. We started out the season one and two, and we thought with all the injuries that were coming, losses were coming along with them, but. We ended up ripping off a five game winning streak and getting ourselves to six and two. And we are now on top of the NFC along with the Cardinals, Redskins, 49ers, Bears, and Panthers and Saints. We're all fighting for that top spot, but we are holding it down right now. A pretty impressive start to this season led by quarterback, Justin Fields, the rookie. Now, we did get a lot of injuries within the first few weeks. Marvin Jones, Isaac Nauta, and Quandre Diggs are all coming back from injury, so that is a good sign. They've been out a few weeks or so. Nauta is going to stay on IR because I did want to free up some roster spots for some receiver help because seeing some injuries to receivers, it's kind of been the trend the last couple of years. Uh, Galladay struggled with injury. Now, Tylen Wallace also was on the injury report this year, and Marvin Woods is this year as well. So we are going up against a two and six Bills team on the road. They are led by Kareem Hunt and Josh Allen at quarterback. They are still kind of underachieving. Kareem Hunt is still one of the best running backs in the game here. And they have a promising young receiver here with Rondale Moore, a rookie out of Purdue, only 20 years old. So that's pretty good. Great speed, great route running all around. He's pretty good. Now, they do have Chase Young as well, who they drafted in the top five a year ago. And he looks pretty good as well. I think they just need to build up their team all around and put some pieces around their young talent. And they'll be just fine but they do still have a while to go to develop, but their offensive line and defensive line are also really good. Remember on defense, they also have Ed Oliver out of Houston. So let's start this game out on the road. Here we are with the ball. Justin Fields facing some pressure, getting it away to TJ Hawkinson, who gets out of bounds at about the 27 yard line, but it is going to be a first down from the shotgun. Once again, three wide receivers out there. We're gonna dump it off short to Kalen Balaj, who we did sign to kind of fill that role after Travis Etienne and carry on Johnson got hurt. As we throw here on a third and five, throwing across the middle, it's tipped around and it's picked off by Micah Hyde. And we make our first mistake of the game. A little bit of rust here, as this is the first time playing Madden in a while. And we do turn it over here but we do get the ball back inside of two minutes left here in the first quarter. Here is Kennedy Brooks, who is getting the start now because of the injuries at running back. And remember, he was our seventh round pick two seasons ago. Here he is in the passing game, making a move on the defender and getting in for the touchdown for the first one of the game. And it's funny to see the fans cheering like they shouldn't be cheering for the away team. So here we are up seven, nothing. Here to start the second quarter, Josh Allen throwing across the middle. It's gonna be broken up by big play Slay and Tracy Walker with the safety help over the top. So now we fast forward under two minutes left here in the first half. This has been a defensive game up to this point. Justin Fields running his receiver in motion. Buying some time a little bit, trying to get out the pocket, throws to the right side. And there is Kalen Balaj with the catch on the sideline. So close to the 50 now, third and four. Here is Fields from the shotgun. Nice protection up front. He's going to throw the ball deep to McCall Hardman, and he is going to let that one fall through his hands. Maybe the defender got away with a little bit of pass interference on that one. But nonetheless, we go into halftime, seven to three. So it has been defensive. Here is a handoff. This time, Kalen Balaj gets up the middle for a gain of eight. Third and two. Inside the 10, throw across the middle, wide open, TJ Hawkinson and Justin Fields just misses him. He's already got two interceptions in this game. His accuracy just has not been there, and we settle for three points. So now in a 10-3 game, six minutes left here in the third quarter. Here's Josh Allen, throw it out to left side, and he seems a little off as well as that throw was way over 
his tight end's head as we get the ball back here towards the end of the third quarter. Justin Fields from the shotgun. Five wide receivers out there. He's throwing out to the right. He's got Tylen Wallace. And Tylen's getting inside the 10-yard line on that one. So now a third and two handoff up the middle. Kennedy Brooks, who tries to run over the defender, and he barely does pick up the first down. So now at about the seven-yard line, this time Justin Fields, clean pocket. He's going to take off and run, and he's going to find a little crease. He's in for the touchdown run, Justin Fields. And he does make it a two-score lead here on the road as we move on to the fourth quarter, trying to preserve this lead. So now gotcha, under bitch. three minutes left here in the game. Here is a throw out to the right, but Romeo Aquara gets in. He's been here for the last five years, and he's been doing pretty good as we are now here in season four. And here is Josh Allen on a fourth and 12. Throw out to the left side, and that was the last hope. But they do get bailed out by the pass interference on Chris Harris Jr. not trying to give up that big play. So still 19 to three, under two minutes left from the 32 yard line. Run a screen pass out to the right. And that's a lucky throw on that one because Jelani Tavai was right there, just not in the right position. And Josh Allen moves the ball now inside the five. Second and one, Josh Allen. He's got time throwing to the back of the end zone and that one is going to be caught for the touchdown by Moore. And that is gonna be seven points on the board but no, they're gonna try to go for eight. Here is Buffalo from the shotgun, facing some pressure, and that's gonna be a sack from Samson, and he does get the stop there and preserve that two-score lead. As now they line up for the onside kick, and there is going to be Tylen Wallace who will fall on it, and we will come away with the victory. This was a defensive game in this matchup, and we come out still on the winning streak. The win streak stands at six, and we're gonna be looking to go to seven as we go into next week as well with Kennedy Brooks, 19 attempts, only 42 yards rushing. Definitely that defensive front, which I pointed out before the game, they are really special with Ed Oliver and now Chase Young, so many guys up front, and they're gonna be pretty good. I think they just need to build that offense up a little bit, maybe get some better receivers. Who knows? So we do have an upgrade for Vincent McLeod, a hidden dev trait corner who I did want to kind of have as maybe the successor for Chris Harris if we can't uh, afford to re-sign him because I do want to keep big play slay around and McLeod looks like he's going to be a pretty good future cornerback on the outside with great man coverage. Also, Miko Hardman, who we did trade for, he's a speed guy, 96 speed. I want to kind of unleash that speed and get him going as he did score two touchdowns in his debut last episode. Well, we have some more injury no news. Amani Hooker goes down six weeks with a dislocated ankle just in time for Quandre Diggs to return to the starting lineup. He's healthy along with Marvin Jones. So at least we get some good news there. But unfortunately, Amani Hooker, who was having a great season, he goes down. So we are going to be going up against the second best team in the NFC and maybe the first best. Who knows? We have the same record. Seven and two Redskins. Dwayne Haskins is at quarterback. And remember, they did draft Jake Fromm number one overall. And it looks like they're just going to continue to go with Dwayne Haskins. Even though he's winning games, they're only one overall different. I think Haskins is 79, Fromm is 78. And they do have Ezekiel Elliott, who's closing in on a 1,000-yard season once again. Remember, he was in free agency two seasons ago, and the Redskins looked like they did re-sign him or at least just put a franchise tag on him after signing him in free agency. So here we go. The battle of the seven and twos in the NFC. This is a matchup that really the entire NFL has been waiting for. Two of the top teams in the NFC going head to head as out comes Justin Fields. Can he keep the win streak going here as he's thrown 17 touchdowns, 
nine interception is only five yards away from 2000. So let's start out this game with the ball and on the road. Here is the first pass of the game thrown across the middle and that is gonna be overthrown intended for Tylen Wallace. So now third and nine, throw out to the right side and it's gonna be incomplete, but take a look. The refs are gonna call pass interference on that one. I don't know about that call, but I'll take it if it goes our way. So here's a throw out to the right side on a second and 10 after the penalty and that is going to be Marvin Jones getting open for the first down. So from the 34, here's Justin Fields. He's gonna buy some time, scramming out to the right side and trying to get rid of it. And that is gonna be a sack by Jonathan Allen out of Alabama. And now that brings it to a second and 21. Right away, the pressure is getting in there. It's Montez Sweat. And he gets his first sack of the game. He was in there in a hurry. So third and 27, throw across the middle. We got an open man, but it's going to be knocked away from Kenny Galladay, who had a little bit of a crease, but that was a nice play by the safety as we punt the ball away. So here are the Redskins stuck inside the five yard line. They do get a little bit of room on that two yard carry from Ezekiel Elliott. So second and nine, this time they're gonna try to run the screen pass. They dump it off to Elliott, who can't get out of the end zone. And it's a safety, Sean Chapman and Sam Sidney Abukam is gonna get in there and wow. A safety here to start this game. I didn't see that coming. It's two to zero here for your Lions. So here's Justin Fields back on the next drive, but Matthew Ioannidis is getting in for the fun. He gets another sack. That's three already for the Redskins. Throw across the middle on a third and 14, though. That's going to be TJ Hawkinson, who, man, he's getting open a lot versus man coverage. He's hard to cover, and it's a big first down. So here's a throw out to the left side on a second and five. That's Tylen Wallace out of the slot. He picks up a first down as he moved the ball close to the 50 yard line. Kennedy Brooks on the carry up the middle and he's gonna get to about the 45. So now a second and six, still running this motion. Here's a throw out to the right side. Getting hit on the throw is Justin Fields, but it's caught by TJ Hawkinson again. Another first down. So we're looking good on this drive. Another throw across the middle. Marvin Jones this time. Everybody's getting involved. And now we're inside a field goal range as he moved to about the 26-yard line. Justin Fields scrambling out to the right side. He's going to throw that way. And he's got Tylen Wallace inside the 10. And now we are looking good on this drive as we're inside the 10 at about the 9-yard line. Here's Kennedy Brooks on the draw play. He's going to get hit by Landon Collins right at the one-yard line as now we get it to a second and goal as there's a blitz off the left edge. But this time, Justin Fields is going to get around to the right side, and he's sneaking in for the touchdown. And here we go. We have the 9-0 lead as we move on to the second quarter. So let's play some defense, continue this great D. Here is a handoff up the middle, and that is going to be Ezekiel Elliott stopped in the backfield by Jelani Tavai and Trey Flowers. Play action fake on a third and 13, throw to the right side, and that is actually going to be incomplete. As I don't know, we may have got away with one on that drive. So we don't get anything on the next drive. So here comes Washington back out onto the field. Dwayne Haskins under center. He's going to dump it off right, and he's going to get it to his tight end or his fullback, pick up seven yards. So now third and four. This time Haskins throws out to the middle of the field, and he's got his man at about the 15-yard line for the first down. That's Thomas, the tight end, and he picks up a big game inside the 15-yard line. So play action fake this time. Dwayne Haskins steps up in the pocket, throws the ball, and he may have had a touchdown if he wouldn't have been worried about the pressure. And now that brings it to a third and 11. Haskins faces the pressure off the left edge, and he throws it away and getting it to his receiver. But that's only going to be about a gain of eight on that one. And they do settle for three, making it a nine to three game. So here we are, back on offense. Fields throws to the left side. His first throw of that next drive, and he's getting about a gain of 15 on that throw. Galladay, first down. So now second and 10, faces some pressure right away. That's thrown to Jesse James, who gets open, 
and Landon Collins gets shaken up. So that will definitely be a boost for our offense. So now second and eight under center this time. Justin Fields throws across the middle. He's got Marvin Jones, and that's a nice first down. Justin Fields has put together a nice few, a couple of nice few drives here in this game. Scrambling out to the right side. This time Fields throws to the end zone, but it's actually snagged by Kenny Galladay, who goes up and gets it. And now that brings us to a third and one. Handoff up the middle, and that's going to be a first down. Kennedy Brooks tackled by Montez Sweat. So inside of a minute, here is Justin Fields scrambling out to the right side. He's going to take it himself, and he's going to fall in for the touchdown, his second of the game. And there we go. We have the two-score lead here as we move into halftime with this comfortable 16-3 lead. Our defense is playing well. So here we go to start the second half. Out on defense, Haskins throws out to the left side. That's Terry McLaurin on the bubble screen. He's picking up about a game of 15. So now at about the 40 yard line, play action fake. No, they're gonna hand it off. Ezekiel Elliott up the middle and our defense was full. That hole was wide open. And now they move the ball past the 50 yard line. Let's throw out to the left side. They've got a man on the left. Breaks a tackle, gets to about the 30-yard line, and take a look. They're going to call a late hit on that one, so they get an additional 15 yards added on to the end of that play. So here is Dwayne Haskins throwing out to the right side. It's going to be Morgan Bruh. Moses who is out to catch that pass, and he gets hurt on that play. As now they bring it to a second and five. Here is a blitz off the left edge. It's Samson Abukam for the sack. And here we go. 17-yard line, third and 11. We got to come up with a stop. Don't let him get into the end zone. Gotcha, this time, bitch. Haskins buys some time. He's going down. Trey Flowers this time. He gets his first sack of the game. And we do get them to settle for three points, making it a 16-6 to six lead. So here is Kennedy Brooks getting going. Remember, he's had a couple of nice games running the ball. He gets a gain of 10 on that one. So now we fake it to him, rolling out to the right side. This time, Justin Fields buys some time. He th unloads, throws the ball deep, and it's caught. McCole Hardman for the touchdown catch. And that's the blazing speed we were looking for. What a throw by Justin Fields in the perfect position. And Hardman does the rest, goes up and gets it in traffic. It's a touchdown. And just like that, we now have the three-score lead. So now, towards the end of the third quarter, here's Haskins just trying to get his offense going. But look at this defense, Justin Coleman and big play Slay there for the stop. So now second and 13, throw out to the right side. They've got Paul Richardson open for the first down. And that is gonna be close to about the 25 yard line as now Haskins is in the field goal range. Hand off to Ezekiel Elliott, but a nice tackle that time by Chris Harris in space as they lose three on that play. So they eventually get five yards back, third and eight. Throw to the right side, it is deflected. Big time play by big play slay on third down as they actually settle for the field goal, making it 22 to nine. So now here we are inside of six minutes. We have some good field position on this drive as we line up here on a four, five wide set. Throw across the middle, it's gonna be deflected. We had nobody to throw it to on that one. And it's gonna be incomplete. As now we fast forward here to about four and a half minutes left after settling for that field goal. Haskins throws across the middle and he's got Paul Richardson down by 16 now. They're gonna need these big plays. So inside of three minutes, here's Haskins. Handoff this time. Ezekiel Elliott, a big hole. He's getting in for the touchdown run. And Ezekiel Elliott brings them back to within at least two scores as they can go for two on this one, making it a one-score game from the shotgun. This time, he's going to have all day to throw. Haskins by some time, but he's eventually going to get run down, I believe, by Bilal Nichols. And now here we go, onside kick time. The kick is gonna be up and recovered by Marvin Jones as now we have preserved this lead 
as it is now a 10 point lead here with three minutes to go. Here comes Kennedy Brooks on the field. Draw play, he's breaking to the left side. Could have stayed in bounds, but I'll take the big gain as we now move it to about the 25 yard line as we get it to a third and eight. Throw out to the right side, that's TJ Hawkinson on the sideline and a nice catch and a first down inside the 10. So first and goal, here's Kennedy Brooks in the game still. He's gonna try to break into the end zone. He is gonna break the plane. It's a touchdown for the second year, man, the former seventh round draft pick. And we take that 17 point lead as now we move in under a minute left. Can the Redskins do anything? Here, here's Haskins, throw across the middle. That's gonna be knocked away. Chris Harris Jr. on Terry McLaurin. So now third and 10, this time Haskins throws that. to the sideline and it's gonna be picked off Chris Harris. And that's gonna be the ball game as the Lions go into Washington DC and take care of business versus one of the best teams in the NFC. We are now the only two loss win, two loss team in the NFL after this game as Chris Harris calls it ball game and we end up winning this one i mean it was just a 10 point game with two minutes left and we ended up winning 39 to 15 wow our defense is just balling out of control we had actually three interceptions in this game they actually threw another one in garbage time just trying to throw a hail mary and that was picked off by rich Patton. but i mean our defense is just balling out of control as I love to put McCall Harmon in the game and he just blew by the defense for that big play. Those are the kind of game changing plays we need from some guys on this offense because remember Marvin Jones is getting old. He's gonna start regressing so I'm gonna need some young guys to step up and I'm, I'm really proud of this team. I mean that we're still on this streak, seven game win streak and wow, I mean, I, I would have never thought that we would be this good here with all of these injuries and just the circumstances but we are so we're gonna go into next episode hopping into the later parts of the season and let's see where we can end up because right now i think it could be a foregone conclusion that we will make the playoffs but i don't want to guarantee anything yet but i think this team is definitely on the right track so hit subscribe hit that like button next episode Let's see how good this how good this team can be and how long this streak will last. So stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.